Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for August 2022. Um, this month um, is uh, Leo season and Leo rules the heart. So I thought I'll do a, a love reading for both couples and singles. And yes, we've got three decks here and um we will see what the universe has to say whether you are coupled or single and yes so i've already pressure for the all the decks so let's find out what the universe has for you as this is going to be your theme okay aries let's find out what your aries uh what <laughs> your aries what your uh main theme or energy is going to be in terms of your love life for this month of August, okay, we go for that one, okay, so now, let's find out what's going to be the, the general view for the month of August, how your love situation is going to go. For an extra message, this could be happening in your general life, but we I want us to add this to the love reading because this is a mainly love reading, but this is an extra um, angel deck, angel tarot, for which could apply to any part of your your life, whether it's career or okay. Yes, I feel drawn to that one. Right. Okay. So the bottom of the deck is Five of Pentacles. And your theme is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, okay, so let's see the general feeling. We've got the sun reversed, we've got knight of swords upright, and you've got ace of swords upright. Okay, so Aries, this is all looking very, very interesting and positive. Okay, positive. <laughs> yes, so your extra message is the four of pentacles, four of earth. So, being too frivolous or too courteous with money, good business decisions given to those less fortunate. So, of course, um, as you can see here, I feel this will... Um, Will have something to do with your career um, but mainly i feel it's to do with your general your general life okay and how you are giving to yourself okay so let's see how this ties into your um your love situation here so with this um ace of pentacles here okay the way i am seeing it here for you is that aries um if you are single, you are going to have uh, an offer and someone is going to um, talk about like moving in or you could also be offering someone this um, love situation, okay? And if you are already in a, a relationship but then it's not a, a permanent relationship or is not a proper established relationship. I feel here that um, there's a possibility that the two of you will be talking about doing things together, building a home together, um, you know. And if you're already in an established relationship, whether like those of you who are married, 
I feel trust is going to be renewed here for you guys, okay? That is how I'm seeing it. Because you will feel like you need to work together to build trust, okay? Um, you know, in this month of August, that's how I feel this is going to be for, for you, Aries. That is how I am seeing it, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck is the um, Five of Pentacles, okay? So this is when you have lost hope or you feel like you've been left on your own. Um, you have been disappointed. Um, so whether you are coupled or single, I feel here that, you know, you are coming out of this disappointment or this loneliness or feeling as if there isn't um, enough trust, okay? You can't rely on the other person. You have to rely on yourself. I feel like you are coming out of this, okay? That is how I am seeing it here for you. Of course, we have the, the sun coming in for you. And although it's reversed, what I sense here is that these are things that were supposed to happen for you in the past, in terms of your love life, that didn't happen the way you wanted it to be. Okay? So, I feel it's like some type of delayed happiness coming in for you. But it is coming in for you. The sun is shining, but it is Although it's been delayed, you know, but I feel like, yes, it is certainly coming in for you in this month of August. So, Aries, you need to um, start chilling out, okay? Because it could also be that um, someone is going to find you very, very attractive, okay? Or you are going to find someone who's very, very attractive, who's uh, also a fire sign. Um, but I feel... This is more inner happiness for you. Inner happiness that um, has been delayed. Okay? So, we've got the Knight of Swords here. And having this Knight of Swords, I feel this is you feeling confident. Feeling confident in yourself that finally, um, this is the type of relationship I want to have, whether you are coupled or single. Um, whatever you want, you'll be feeling confident enough to tell your person um, if you are single, you will be bold enough to tell them or they will be bold enough to tell you. And I also feel you will be able to express yourself truthfully to them and without any fear of judgment. Okay, so I feel that here, Aries, um, your love life is looking very, very positive. All you need to do is just master your confidence, okay? And yes, at the end of the month or sometime during the month of um, August, this is true love coming in for you, a brand new beginning of love coming in for you. And I feel here that it will be very good for you to start loving yourself, Aries, because you've got two aces. You've got the ace of pentacles and you've got ace of swords, okay? And I feel especially for, for um, those, uh, for, for ma men, you know, male Aries, I feel that, yes, you are going to feel... Um, very strong, very confident within yourself. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that's how I feel that, yes, the men are going to feel very confident. So if you are a woman and you are watching it cross, uh, cross watching, you will see that the person who is that Aries will be feeling more confident within themselves. And I feel that they'll be making bold decisions and, um, yeah, they, they, they will want to start something brand new. Okay. And this is all going on in their head. And I feel they will be taking the actions that they need to take, okay? Because the theme is an ace of pentacles, okay? So practical things are going to be established this month. And I feel here you also need to ground yourself, Aries, okay? So whether you are cross-watcher or it's just you, Aries, uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I feel you need to ground yourself. I feel this is more of grounding for you okay and do not overspend um whatever maintenance you need to do i feel like yes um just be thoughtful of yourself and you know don't let your confidence um don't mix it up with um you know <laughs> uh you know overspending okay so that's how i feel here for you aries um i hope this has been insightful for you i'll leave the reading here I will see you next month or you will see me next month.